The experts have weighed in on the trade, and now it's time to sound off on the acquisitions of Peja Soyakovic and Jared Bayless from a fan's perspective. What can we as fans watching the game from the stands or from the comfy confines of our living room expect from these players? Well, I'll tell you. It might be surprising to know, but the Toronto Raptors are pretty much dead last when it comes to shooting beyond the arc. That's where Peja Sajakovic comes into the mix. He does look healthy and that means there's no need to fear because our three-point shooting streak will remain intact. He may not have been all smiles, but can you blame the guy after leaving a good thing to come to a rebuilding situation? But sometimes Peja might not like to hear this, but change is a good thing. And what does the young kid Jared Bayless bring to the organization? Well, his dad is a forensic psychologist. And that could mean we might just be hearing a lot more Dexter talk. Season 5 is outstanding right now. Besides being a great combo guard, he can compliment Jose Calderon in the backcourt. The one thing both of us have in common is that we both vlog. Not sure if anyone's watching or reading, but it's fun. In the grand scheme of things, Brian Colangelo is looking for long-term success. Finally, because I thought he was all about the short-term. Cap space and expiring contracts will come off the books at the end of the season. And sooner rather than later, we're looking to make it back into the playoffs. So long to the lovely Jared Jack, whose quotes always made me laugh. Welcome in, Peja and Jared, where they will have the opportunity to grow and improve. Let Operation Rebuild begin now. I'm Pyle. Thanks again for joining me inside the Purple Room for a special edition of The Departed. I will see you next time.